of you have become very frustrated with the fact that my walls are very flat and not textured. So I've come up with a solution for this. This wall now has a face and I've decided I would name it Mackenzie. Mackenzie is very proud of us and it knows we're doing our best with our shaping and we'll get to the detailing eventually. Hello everyone and welcome to Hermitcraft where today I am spending a lot of time staring at this face because well, it's a little ugly but I've got some ideas for it. While my ideas for this base are quite exciting, there's something we need to do first. Snow. There's snow on my new roofs. Mac, there's snow. A lot of you express that you actually like the look of the snow and you're a little upset that I'm removing it, but I'm removing it because of the quartz. Because if I'm gonna let the entire roof be white with snow, then why am I spending hours and hours collecting quartz? It's covering up the beautiful quartz, and it's ruining my contrast. So our solution to that, as usual, shall be glow lichen. And speaking of, we're almost at a glow lichen. That's not good. Because glow lichen is such a small light source, it takes quite a lot of it to stop the snow, but it does look really nice on these prismarine roofs. Luckily, glow lichen is actually something that can be farmed with a bunch of bone meal. And so with that in mind, I think today we ought to start off the episode with a little bit of farm building. Glow lichen farms are pretty simple and compact, so we're not going to need a huge space for this. So I think dedicating a building within the village would be perfect for this. Hello. What you doing? There was a villager in that boat. Oops. Boats belong in the water. I think for our glow lichen farm, I would like to put it down here in the village, maybe along this water line here, because that way we can start building up the rest of this foundation, wrapping it along here, and we'll have a reason to do so. I think we'll build a greenhouse right here on this little corner. That'd be perfect. Glow lichen greenhouse. Right, let's take down the trees. Trees are chopped, and I've decided that the entrance or doorway shall be right here. So we're kind of entering it from the mega base area because I think this will be roughly as far this way as we go with this. We'll wrap the rest of the village up around that hill. But this one will be cool down here. So this sort of build kind of all follow the same format. We go out by three on each side. The nice thing about this village builds is they kind of all follow the same sort of formula. We're spacing all of these bits by three, and then we're just giving them a little bit of depth on the inside with the foundation being like this. Having this formula to follow for each of the village houses makes the building process way more relaxing. I don't have to think quite so hard about this process because I know that every building is going to follow the same formula, just going to have slight differences. Like for example, this one in particular is going to have a greenhouse out back. Now I've built a lot of greenhouses in my time. I love a greenhouse, but I think because this one is elven, we'll bring it off of this main building here and we'll make it spiky instead of rounded. Hoping with any luck, this should all turn out quite well. Then we'll just need a little staircase right here. Oh, three more stairs. There we go. That shall be the doorway. <laughs> right, now it's just a matter of working out this top bit. Let's do it, shall we? the greenhouse is ready to go. It just needs a few of those green details now and our glow lichen farm. Shouldn't be too difficult to get in, but just around here, I'm going to try to add a whole bunch of these leaves and up on the roof as well. If we go up here and we just lead a few of these leaves in spots like so, I think this would be really nice and greenhousey out here. A little overgrown moment, you know? Pearl? This is supposed to be a stealth mission, Gem. You're not supposed to look at me. You, you have it. your mic on. I can... All right, all right. You're not here. You're not here. I don't know if I'm... Oh, I can... Nah, no, I... <laughs> that wasn't... That wasn't intentional. You weren't supposed to... You weren't supposed to hear that. Alright, I'm exposed! Hi! Hey! 
What are you doing hanging out there on your roof? I'm uh, making a greenhouse. What are you doing humming in my neighborhood? Well, I was doing a stealth mission. I just... Honestly, I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I just wanted to say hi. Ah. And look at your greenhouse. <laughs> yeah, it's my greenhouse. Your greenhouse. You got greens in there? It's empty. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I got a decorator. I just started, Pearl. I just started. <laughs> well, you should have finished by now. What's this then? Nah, 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 nah. See, I've got to put redstone in there and it takes all my brain power. And it's very late redstone. at night right now, so I don't have enough brain power. Did I hear that correctly? You got redstone? Yeah, I'm gonna do a farm. I'm a redstone genius. Oh. Your neighbor is a redstone genius. Oh, okay. Do you want my brain cell? My brain cell might help. Can I have it? Actually, no, my brain. That <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> now, Jim, if you kill me, you're gonna kill the brain cell. This isn't. No, but this I'll get brain the, the brain power. cell. Will drop out of your head. No, my hand will drop out of my head. <laughs> Jim. Oh, sorry. Over here, she wants to murder me. Sorry. You are a very strange neighbor, Pearlescent Moon. Soup! <laughs> Thanks. You want some soup? Drink it. Out of blind! You haven't made a new soup recipe yet! Perfect. One quick pearl murder later, and we're ready to continue. I prepared some redstone for us. I'm following a tutorial today from Il Mango. Funnily enough, in this video, Il Mango says he doesn't know why anyone would ever need this much glow lichen. Well, He's obviously never been in this situation. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about making this pretty, but I do think I'm just gonna use the entire greenhouse space for it. I mean, it's gonna be functional. Right off the bat, I need six dispensers. Dispensers are such a pain. I mean, we need a bow, and then they don't even stack. Oh, it's just a whole thing. Anyways, that is the start. Huh. I did it. I feel very smart right now, and also, that's incredibly annoying. What the heck? A lever, I need a lever. This is basically the bulk of this farm, but there are a couple of other things that I need. I think my neighbor Pearl has just the thing that I need. Sheer dedication, surely not. Okay, we have some options here. We will definitely be going with Shirkira. That's perfect. My bone shop has been doing very well. Wonderful. I am taking some of my own stock though. Obviously the glow lichen is gonna try to spread all along here, so I'm gonna try to prevent that with some of these moss carpets. You'll have to forgive the weird looking greenhouse. I'm still learning this whole redstone and beauty thing all in one. <laughs> Doing a lot more redstone than normal this season. I'll get used to it, it's fine. So I think all I have to do now is get my shears and just pop in here. And there we go. Oh, I'm getting so many glow lichen. This is insane! I am in glow like in heaven. Okay, okay, okay. My inventory is full. <laughs> that did not take very long, I have to admit. But luckily I've set up some barrows in here for my extra bone block and my extra lichen. And I bet when I'm not using it, I can cover it up. Hold on. I think there's actually a lush cave somewhere over here. I remember seeing it. Ah, yeah, down here. <laughs> Sorry, Impulse. There we go. I just need some glow berries. Oh, you know what? Some drip leaf wouldn't hurt. Oh, hello, axolotls. Right, I think I've got what I need for the rest of the greenhouse. Now, obviously, any greenhouse is going to have quite a lot of plants around. So let's start with putting out some shelves and things with that on. So that would cover up that redstone. And then we'll do some potted plants. It's going to be so beautiful. I love popping greenery all around a place. It's just so good. I always do a greenhouse, but it's because it always makes me happy. And then down here, I think all I'm gonna do is literally just place carpet all on top of this. So we obviously have enough glow lichen now to last us a very long time. If we need to, we can open up the floor once again and get some more, but now you can't even tell it's down there. It's perfect, a functional greenhouse that you can't even tell is functional. I'll leave my shears in here for now as well. Couple of finishing touches. 
I could genuinely not be happier with this glow lichen farm. It's perfect. Right, uh, now let's go use the glow lichen, shall we? And actually light up my roofs, finally. Even this one right here, as you could see, could definitely use the help. This is gonna be so much better. There we go. Roofs are likened to my lichen, for now. Now that the roofs are sorted, it's time to move on to the next phase. Mac, things are about to get a lot uglier around here. I'm sorry in advance. You got it though, right? You believe in me. Every Thursday, the hermits have a meeting, and in this meeting, we get to discuss lots of things about the server, but sometimes, as a special treat, we get to discuss our creative process. And last night, I was up late in a call with a bunch of the hermits, and we were discussing just that, our creative process. The way that I am building up this mega base is something like painting. If I were to paint a tree, I would have to paint all of the background colors first. I can't start with the details and the leaves and the highlights. I have to paint in the shape and then layer by layer build in the details. And that is essentially the process that I am trying to show with this build. I'm a big fan of building something and then sitting with it for a bit. Because if you sit with it for a bit, you give your brain a second, process what's here, and come up with new ideas. It also allows me to take in all of your ideas before I get the detailing in. Because if I had detailed this staircase, there'd be no going back. I would have committed far too many hours. But now I get to see that a lot of you were interested in this shape, you said that it was a flat wall of stairs, not that much interest. And you know what? I fully agree with you. It's not that interesting and we are going to texture it, but we can also add some more structures within it now that I've sat with it for a moment and we can kind of break up the staircase a bit with maybe different sort of statue-like structures going up it. And I think this would give us an opportunity to add a lot more shape and interest. And that is something that wouldn't have come to me if I just rushed into texturing it. So I propose that today, we shape the rest of the build. With dirt, of course. Mac and I are really enjoying the ugly phase of this build, and I think some dirt on the upper layers would not only help us visualize the shape, but would also be very entertaining. I mean, have you ever seen a dirt mega base before? I haven't. So I'm gonna use all of the dirt and grass in my collection to create the shape of this mega build. I have a feeling this is gonna be very satisfying. I'm genuinely hyped for it. Now, I may not have enough dirt for this, but luckily, I checked with Pearl, and she has dirt. Gosh, she's so organized. What is this? Ah, here we go. Uh, I won't take too much. Thanks, Pearl. Now, let's get to shaping, shall we? Sometimes I look at this base, and I wonder what I'm doing with my life. Not today. Today, I do not wonder. Today, we are making an epic dirt mega base. <laughs> you know what? It kind of is kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, the dirt doesn't really do my plans justice, but it's cool. It's very cool. I actually think that this does have the potential to be quite helpful to my process, actually, because now I can see where the bridges from our towers here need to connect. I can see where our water feature is going to need to go, and I can spend a lot more time staring at the shape of the build, which is always good. Seeing Pearl's storage room in order to get that dirt gave me a lot of inspiration. It's time we finally actually start giving this mega base a function and a storage system is definitely one of the functions. At the moment, we're treated a little bit like Harry Potter and we are just living under the staircase, which is great, but I think we could do a bit better. Laying out interior floors can be a really tricky job and we have a lot of height to work with here. This can't be like a one floor and done sort of ordeal. This is going to have a lot of layers and a lot of staircases and a lot of little rooms. I want this height right here to be one of the lower floors. It's going to pop out onto a balcony that overlooks the village over here. But it's obviously way lower than our actual entrance floor. And even worse, our main room is up here in dirt. And that's even higher again. So it's going to be a complicated interior process, but I think I wanna get started just by creating a little bit of flooring just so we can see where we're at. And so that we can actually walk around in here, you know? 
To be honest, a storage room in a mega base is probably the most important room. It's where I do all of my crafting and all of my organizing. I spend the most amount of time in it by far. Since we have so much space in this interior, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is adding double walls. So we're going to just come along this entire room like so and sort of change the shape of it and also the color of the walls by just adding a second wall. When you're on the inside in here, I don't want you to have any reference to the outside. I want it to be a completely different feel if possible. So the inside of this tower is going to become an interior. Interiors are tricky, but I think I did a pretty good job on this one. We built up some prismarine walls, did a nice crown molding of diorite, and then started working on some quartz. I wanted this room to be very bright, but as you can see, it's very dark with the ceiling in. So some sea lanterns were here to save the day. I debated on what color to use, and I ended up going with some dark oak mixed into this, and I think it actually worked out. Ta-da! A storage room. I think I actually really like the vibe of this room. I'm actually also loving this little hallway. Obviously, eventually this will be way more closed in. I do think we'll have a huge room in here, like maybe a garden room going onto the balcony. But for now, it, it's very open. You're gonna have to use your imagination. But we've got this hallway that's gonna lead into this room. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the vibe and we've got tons and tons of storage in here and room in the middle for activities. I feel like off of each of these pillars in the hallways, we can have other functional rooms that we need for crafting, like some small smelteries, crafting centers, stuff like that. I've come from the greenhouse and I've brought us a whole bunch of other things to lay around here, like some glow lichen, of course, but also some glow berries and some leaves, which I would love to hang from the ceiling. You know me, I love some greenery around. I think the ceiling is just perfect to tuck some greenery into. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. It's just the right amount of this muted green to make it not take away from the room, but still add a little bit of interest. I think this would also be a prime opportunity to actually move the map into that storage room for now or maybe even having the map along walls like this between the pillar oh that could be fun there that's really nice it gives us lots of room to expand it looks kind of like paintings as we come along that's perfect Speaking of perfect, I think it's time we finally work on some organization around here and I actually have some ideas for that. So down here at the moment, we have some categories and I'd like to keep these categories going because I think I'll have a better chance at staying organized if I don't be too strict with my organization. So I've decided I will categorize this area into sections. So this section will be the digging section for the stone. This section will be the wood section. This one will be the sandstone section. And for the things that don't really need full sections, we'll go back to using signs. So for example, Dark Prismarine probably doesn't need a full section. I think this storage system is gonna work great for me. I hope that you all like it. I think it's been so good for me creatively to have a second in this episode to do this. It's going to be a really different interior process in here. We have a lot of space and we could do this sort of like pods of rooms and make ourselves new walls and the rooms are gonna be so interesting, I think. I really love that at the moment we have like four projects going on basically and they're all connected. We have episodes where we can work on the interior of the mega build. We have episodes where we can work on the exterior of the mega build. And we also have episodes where we can work on the village and also the guardian farm. This is genuinely one of my favorite survival projects I think I've ever done. I'm having a lot of fun with the creative process of this one. But for today, I think that's about all the time that I have. I'm cutting it a little short because it is Pride MCC on the day that I'm recording this. So um, I better go train. Right. Thank you for all your support, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.